Hello, Buzzacus, my name is Altus T, and welcome back to Beltless Factorio, where last time we improved the red circuit machinery. Uh, we powered up with uh, some modules, uh, switched out some of the, of the input lanes, so we can get the copper wire faster to wear it is needed and by the looks of it all machines are running so at this point oh, we should add beacons to speed up the process uh, because productivity of course we lose a bit of of speed there what we gain in uh, productivity but today we want to uh, focus on something uh, different. We will, uh, on the side, still work on the, the circuits. Um, we need to boost the red ones even more, but we also need to uh, boost the blue ones. And then maybe we run into issues with the green ones. Um, that we don't have enough production there. However, today I want to see about an ingredients that we need for uh, our rocket. Uh, it's not the control unit, but the rocket fuel. And I was thinking for rocket fuel. We need solid fuel and light oil. And with the setup that we have here, we have enough oil, we have not enough petroleum gas. So that will not do. But what we can do instead is going back here there we have a coal field and we could use that coal uh, in liquefaction and basically uh, use that for our rocket fuel production and I would imagine that we also then have maybe some surplus uh, of uh, petroleum gas uh, that we can add here into this mix. So I think first thing uh, we want to do is uh, have the layout going with the with the rails, uh, and then probably in here we can have the mining and the refining facility uh, and then in the next setup we can basically we can focus on light oil to get that out and from light oil we can uh, get the, the solid fuel and light oil and solid fu fuel we get the rocket fuel. So basically if we pump the light oil um, in a different section um, we can then basically use that in a two-step process for solid fuel and rocket fuel. So let me uh, lay out the land here a bit and then we will see about how to set up the, the refinery for uh, uh, coal liquefaction. We do have a setup here that I think should work uh, only thing we need is uh, adding a bit of power 
and then we get coal through. Uh, coal uh, generates uh, a bit of uh, steam. We do have a bit of uh, heavy oil in here to kickstart the whole thing. And then we have one storage tank for the heavy oil. So we always have a bit uh, on the side. Um, uh, we do a bit of cracking with the surplus into uh, light oil. Um, and if uh, these are almost full, then we basically also uh, uh, produce petroleum. So that should all be good. And we see the first two are, are starting off. Now we are not getting enough, uh, um, enough coal through. So maybe uh, let's do this. And I'm not sure if uh, this many miners are enough for this setup i guess we will see and it probably takes a bit until we we get through the whole thing and eventually we shall see this uh, running off. Um, at least we know it is working. So we can let this uh, run for a bit and then where is my car? My car is up there. Uh, I think we will extend then uh, this line down here to connect to the to the main line there and have the processing of the light oil right on this side or on this side um, to produce rocket fuel but i think in uh, meantime i will check on our um, circuits and or more precisely uh, the blue ones uh, to figure out what we can do there to uh, get more out of uh, what we have to just have more more throughput there and uh, I think one thing that I have seen is here on the input we do have long-handed inserts where we do not really need them so let's remove those on here we need them but here we don't and instead we can have false inserters and this is the line where we are pushing uh, through the green circuits and we need 20 green circuits two red circuits so we need way more green circuits than red ones so maybe we should even do it this way okay and then we probably also want to switch out the assemblers 
and add a bit of uh, productivity modules in there uh, because at this level we are we can save quite a bit of uh, resources that way and it's not really that uh, we are short on resources but it's just a, a bottleneck getting the resources uh, in here so i will do this for the uh, lower part here as well switching out all the assemblers and then see how far here here you can see uh, as soon as we hit the, the first uh, long-handed inserter uh, we have a chest full of uh, things so yeah I think I will have to run back for more stack inserters um, and see how we are doing with the productivity modules um, so that we can at least have a few of the assemblers with productivity in there. For the red circuits, we saw that we have reached our limit with this factory setup. We are stockpiling the items here in the input and this is also recognizable that basically everything, every station is blue, which means uh, either there is a train waiting uh, or on this side a train is coming or there is just not yet enough uh, material to be picked up and if we can get the the same thing for uh, for the blue circuits then we are on the winning track and currently the problem with blue is that we do not have enough input uh, looking at where the trains are waiting we have three trains one is on green but then basically uh, that one just left but basically uh, uh, the, the bottleneck there is pickup of red circuits so probably the secret to get more blue circuits is speeding up red circuits but let's turn our attention back to our factory here where we are a bit better uh, we are stockpiling coal down here not all uh, factories or refineries are working and previously they were not working because we had a backlog of uh, the heavy oil uh, which we are producing here in much higher quantity than with the standard uh, refining so i put down a few more cracking so we break down the heavy oil to light oil um, we might even then need to add uh, more on this side. However, now let's think about uh, rocket fuel. Um, let's let's do the math first. If we want to have a goal of, let's say one science pack per minute uh, just to, to start off um, that means a rocket brings back um, a thousand science packs 
Uh, that also means we need 60 science pack in one minute. Uh, that's 600 in uh, 10 minutes. And to make things easy, let's say uh, 15 minutes um, we need one rocket. And a rocket needs 100 rocket parts. One rocket part needs uh, 10 fuel cells. So basically that's then again a thousand rocket fuel we need per rocket. So we can simplify that and say uh, if we want 60 signs uh, in a minute, we also need 60 rocket fuel in a minute. And rocket fuel takes 30 seconds to craft. Uh, for simplicity reasons, I just neglect the crafting speeds of the of the assembling machines. Um, and if we want to get 60 in a minute, that means we need um, 15. No, we need 30. We need 30 uh, assembling machines because in a minute each assembly machine can produce two. Then uh, on this front, uh, we are way better. Uh, that only takes two seconds. But I think for simplicity reasons for the setup, we will go with uh, either a one to one uh, for for a chemical plant assembly machine, or maybe uh, one chemical plant for two assembly machines. So, I think we can squeeze something in down here. Um, and let's see then. actually let's do it over here because then we could add more on on that side and we will do it we will do it here so we will pull that line over here and let's have it that way and then rocket fuel and if we do it this way and we basically have something like this and we need some chests um let's put the thing out to this side And then let's copy this setup. Until we have 30 of, uh, of this. That's four, six, Eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. Uh, 
Let's break this line. 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. Then. Okay, that will not work. We will have to shift this over a bit. There. And then uh, we need a tiny bit of, uh, of power here. Cup station. Let's do one here. And that's then rocket fuel pickup is a nice icon uh, it's in here um, train limit one So, and here we probably want to have just like this. And then on the way up, we can have normal chests. And luckily, the spacing worked out don't have to use any of the don't have to use any of the long-handed inserters and that should do it at least for one space science per second and of course, if we want higher numbers, we have to scale up. Uh, but then the, the question really is, are we producing enough light oil for, for that? Because currently, it does not look like we do. And maybe this is ju also because this setup just does not produce enough. But that's certainly a problem for the future. Hope you enjoyed this episode and tune in next time for more Beltless Factorio. Until then, goodbye!